Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Friday. It is Friday, it's the weekend, and I'm currently in Hawaii. I am actually filming this video on Wednesday because I head out for my trip to Hawaii tomorrow. So this is a little bit pre-filmed, which means there isn't a full week between last Friday's weigh-in and this weigh-in, but I'm still going to share my weigh-in with you, the WW workshop topic. It is a really good one. And of course, we'll talk about my week and setting some goals for my trip and when I return from my vacation. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload five videos per week and Friday is always weigh-in day. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I cannot recommend enough calories, macros personalized to you. This is how I've lost over 120 pounds and it is absolutely essential for success. And I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come and join us. We'd love to have you. Also, side note, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be posting pictures, videos, all the Hawaii things over on Instagram. I am not vlogging or filming my trip, so that is where you're going to see how my trip is going and all the fun things that I'm doing, all the good food that I'm eating. So definitely come on over, follow me over on Instagram. So let's jump in to my week, the workshop topic, and my weigh-in. A fantastic week. It is already the middle of September. This month has absolutely flown by. This whole year has flown by. We are in the heart of my favorite time of year. Fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the holidays. It just brings me so much joy. I've already put out a ton of fall content on my channel. There's a lot more holiday, Halloween, fall content coming your way. So again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss it. Like I mentioned, I'm currently in Hawaii when you see today's video. It is a much needed vacation. I have been working about 15 hours a day, even more the last couple days gearing up for my vacation. Macros, nutrition coaching, filming, editing videos. If you didn't know, I actually have three channels. I have this channel here, my nutrition coaching channel where we talk all about nutrition, debunking myths, how to lose weight, weight loss tips, and I even have a beauty channel called Budget Beauty where it is everything beauty related. I get asked a lot for makeup tutorials, what makeup are you wearing, how do you do your hair, all of this is over on my beauty channel. So if you're not subscribed to both of those, I'd love to have you over there as well. I had a great week leading up to my trip. I did all of my workouts, which I was really proud of myself because I was so busy that literally every day this week, Monday, Tuesday, and today, I wanted to skip my workout but I didn't. I got them in and that I'm really proud of. I did my best to stay on track. Unfortunately, it was a lot of convenience foods the last few days, not to mention getting ready for my trip. You saw on Wednesdays what I eat in a day that we had new granite counters put in our two bathrooms. We had plumbing done. So we had people in and out of our house for these last three days as well. So there was the meeting out, there was some frozen meals, there was eat what's in the fridge. I haven't cooked a meal since I filmed my meal prep last Sunday. So it's been a little bit stressful and a little bit chaotic, but again, I'm really proud of myself for sticking with my routine as much as possible. And I'm also not going to be tracking my food when I'm in Hawaii. I'm going to Hawaii for the experiences, not the food. I'm going to do my best to intuitively eat, be mindful and focus on protein. Protein. That is my goal. I actually am packing protein shakes, my Just Better Fiber, my Must Fit protein powder for my water. I am packing snacks and protein supplements to help me stay on track. And then I'm just, like I said, going to focus on protein for the meals that I'm having in Hawaii. Since my relationship with food has changed, vacations and things aren't all about food anymore. It's more about what can I do? What height can I take? How am I going to get my workout in? What beach can I lay on? How can I get my water in and have healthy snacks on hand? Vacation and traveling is so different for me now. 
so is the plane. So is the plane. I have all the room in the world on the plane. I can buckle my seatbelt with that much extra seatbelt, cross my legs on the plane. Traveling is just very, very different now that I've lost over 125 pounds and since I've healed my relationship with food. There's always new revelations every day for me and how my life has changed, how my relationship with food has changed. All these non-scale victories that keep happening for me are really what motivates me and pushes me forward. So I'm going to enjoy my trip. I'm going to move my body, focus on my protein, but I won't actually be tracking my food. And speaking of vacation, I'm going to be out of office while I'm on vacation. I will have my phone with me. I will not be responding to messages. I won't be calculating macros or anything until I return from my vacation, which is the 21st of September. And then I'm home for a few days and I leave again on the 29th of September to go to California for a few days for a continuing education nutrition conference. So the rest of September is crazy busy for me. This is going to be a true test of staying on track, eating my protein, reaching my goals, and continuing to lose weight because it is so incredibly busy, stressful, and out of the ordinary. Speaking of losing weight, before I jump into my weigh-in, let's chat about this week's WW workshop topic, which is how to make grocery shopping easier. I get asked all the time. How do you meal plan? How do you take that meal plan and those recipes, pick the recipes you want, make your grocery list, buy the groceries, prepare the recipes. It's hard, it's challenging, and it's stressful for a lot of people. And it can really be a make or break on a weight loss journey. Stocking up your kitchen doesn't have to feel like a chore. It doesn't have to be a part-time job to plan your meals, make your grocery list, get the healthy groceries in your home. Here's a game plan for navigating confusing store layouts, potential impulse buys, and more. Try these tips. At the store, choose a go-to spot. It should check off the most important boxes for you. Close to home, work, online ordering, in your budget, the right size, stocks your favorite items, etc. Find your go-to grocery store. Then focus on the layout. Learn where the staples live. It may take a few trips or online orders, but you'll save search time in the long run. And remember, the perimeter of the grocery store is where you want to focus. Then work on your list. Organize it by department. I do this and it is such a great idea. Group items based on location so you're less likely to have to double back. And lastly, work around your schedule. Plan a day in time to shop. Try to make it a routine so you don't waste time deciding when to go or get stuck at peak hours or really not going at all. And remember, weekdays are always less crowded if you can swing it. I usually shop on Wednesday or Thursday and I find that it's a great Great time to do my grocery shopping. And we have a little bonus round. Let's talk impulse buys. Resist with the right tools. Number one, eat before you go. It's true, it can help you stick with what's on your list. Use the WW barcode scanner. See how these items impact your budget. Or if you're tracking macros and calories, use the scanner. Make a no buy list. Fill it in with food you know might derail you. Now let's dive a little bit deeper. When life gets hectic, one thing that can fall off of our to-do list is our grocery shopping. It might feel easier to eat out or scrounge for whatever's in your pantry fridge or freezer. You might even feel like you're on an episode of Chop, just choosing random foods in your kitchen and preparing meals. But if you spend just a little bit of time, and it can be just a little bit of time planning and strategizing and turning the grocery shopping process into a weekly habit, you can save time, stress, points, and calories, and really eat a little bit more well-balanced meals that lend itself to weight loss. You can stock up your kitchen with non-perishable, low-point, low-calorie foods, so you always have something on hand if you end up in that episode of Chopped. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time to waste at the grocery store, so streamlining the process from planning our meals, making our grocery list, and navigating the grocery store, filling our cart with healthy foods, and putting away our groceries, that is what is going to help us stick with a regular grocery shopping routine, which again, leads to weight loss. Fail to plan, plan to fail. It's essential. As you know, I grocery shop once a week and it has been a key factor in my success with weight loss. It is something that I have done since the beginning of my journey. And honestly, I like to grocery shop. I look forward to it. And if I'm out of time or I just don't have time to navigate the store, grocery pickup is a great option. Not to mention with grocery pickup, you're less likely to put things in your cart that you don't need. So I think this is a great topic and one that I don't remember WW talking about. It's a little bit refreshing and it's absolutely beneficial for everyone. So now let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. The last time I weighed in was Friday. It is now Wednesday. So it has only been a couple of days and I will tell you that I ate out Saturday and Sunday and I had a frozen meal for dinner yesterday. 
Again, convenience, time crunch, planning a trip. I also noticed that the scale was doing a little bit of this this week. I have been pretty sore from my workouts and that's just to be expected. When we break down muscle, our muscle becomes inflamed, it retains water, and that can show as an increase on the scale. So I wasn't surprised to see that, but I am happy that when I stepped on the scale today, ready for my trip to Hawaii, I'm actually down 0.4. That's not too bad for just a few days since my last weigh-in. And again, eating out and focusing a little bit more on convenience foods, healthy convenience foods, but convenience foods nonetheless. So I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen my overall weight loss. And like I said, this trip to Hawaii is going to be a test, a test on my relationship with food, making the right choices, focusing on the vacation and the events rather than the food. And we'll see what happens with next Friday's weigh-in. Crossing my fingers, I'm crossing my fingers to maintain or even better yet, have a loss. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. What do you think of these grocery shopping tips from WW? Let me know everything down in the comments. Don't forget again to follow me over on Instagram if you want to see photos and videos and things from my trip to Hawaii. And of course, I'll give you a trip update most likely in the what I eat in a day towards the end of the month once I return from my trip. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe. I do upload five videos a week and turn your bell on so you never miss a single one. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And lastly, if you're not part of my Facebook group, it's free. We'd love to have you come on over and join us. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you after my vacation. Bye.